Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this to my Esther Circle Queens. This is Miss Alicia. First of all, I just have to tell you that I miss you. I love you, but we just wanted to reach out to you and let you know that the leaders of Esther Circle are still thinking about you and we just wanted to bring you a little activity and something to think about during this time that we're on this um, uh, shelter in place order. So let me just start by saying, we're hearing a lot of things about coronavirus, about our hands. Don't touch this, don't touch that, wash your hands, be careful with your hands. Well, I wanted to bring you a little hope about some different things that we can do with our hands. So our lesson today is gonna to come from 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. Um, and it's going to be about hands of prayer. So what you're gonna need for this lesson, first of all, is your Bible or your smartphone so that you can look up the scripture. Again, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. And then I'm gonna reference another scripture, which is going to be Proverbs 3 and 24. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17 says, pray without ceasing. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 28 says, you can go to bed without fear. You can lay down and sleep soundly. So we're gonna talk about what we can use our hands for during this time when we're being told not to touch anything. Hands of prayer. What you're gonna need for this lesson is going to be, because you know Miss Alicia likes to keep you guys busy, a blank sheet of paper if you have one, um, some crayons, yes, Miss Alicia has crayons in her house, and a marker um, or a pen so that you can write on your sheet. Uh, what you're gonna do when you get your sheet of paper is you're gonna write across the top, hands of prayer. Underneath, you're going to put your scripture, pray without ceasing, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. And then you can also write the second scripture, which is Proverbs 3 and 24. You can go to bed without fear. You can lie down and sleep soundly. Then you're gonna trace your hand. Once you trace your hand, we're gonna walk through what each finger and your thumb mean. So the first um, finger that we're gonna talk about with hands of prayer is your pinky. This is your smallest finger, so we will pray for those who are weak. Pray for the sick, pray for the dying, pray for the weak, pray for the poor, and pray for the homeless. Then the next one is your ring finger. This is the finger that's most known with commitment, like when people are married or engaged. So this is the finger we're going to pray for our family and our friends with. The next finger is our middle finger. This is our tallest finger. And so we're going to pray for our leaders. We're going to pray for those who stand tall in our community. That would be our president, our government, our principals, the police. Doctors, those people who are out on the front lines right now fighting this virus, who take care of us, who make decisions and keep law and order. Then we're gonna go to our pointer finger. Our pointer finger is like those who point us in the right direction, those who lead us, lead the way. So for examples of this would be our preachers, our teachers, our mentors, our youth leaders. Those would be the people we're gonna pray for with our pointer finger. And then finally is going to be our thumb. Our thumb is the one that's closest to our heart. If you look on both of your hands and you hold your hands up, your thumb is closest to your heart. That is where you're gonna pray about your personal concerns, the things that worry you, your hopes, your plans, the things that you want for your future in your life. Anything that is heavy on your heart, you're gonna pray for when you come to your thumb. So ladies, this is just a way for us to be able to use our hands during a time when we're told that we shouldn't be. Again, pinky finger for the week, the poor, um, our ring finger for our family and friends, our tall finger for the leaders of our community, our pointer finger for those who are teachers, preachers, who point us in the right direction, and our thumb for the things that are closest to us. I hope that this gave you a fun way to think about uh, praying for our families and using our hands. Um, decorate your hands of prayer sheet as beautifully as you possibly can. Make sure you put lots of colors in it and then hang it somewhere where you and your family can see to be reminded all of the people we can pray for. So now let's end in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for today. I'm going to put my hand up to touch my Esther Circle Queens. Thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity to connect, to reach. Thank you, Lord God, for showing us a way that we can use our hands during a time that we're told that we shouldn't be touching anything. But we know that the power of prayer is the most effective and the most powerful touch, Heavenly Father, and the most beautiful gift that you've given us. We can touch people across the world, Lord God, with prayer. It's a tool, Heavenly Father, that you've allowed us to have and to use on a daily basis as many times as we need to. So I pray, God, that my beautiful queens of Esther Circle will use the power of their hands to reach up, Lord God, and to touch your ears, Lord God, with their beautiful prayers, Heavenly Father. We pray a healing on our community, Heavenly Father. We pray for those who are sick, dying, 
dying, weak, and shut in. We pray for our families and friends, Lord God. We pray for the leaders of our government, our police officers, our medical doctors and nurses who are on the front lines. We pray for our preachers, our teachers, our mentors, and those who, Lord God, try to help us, lead us, and guide us. And I pray, Heavenly Father, a special prayer for each and every queen. Any worry, stress, or fear that they have, Heavenly Father, just, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, give them peace. I thank you, God, for this opportunity. Please let our Esther Circle Queens know that we love them, we miss them, and we will see them soon. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You guys have a wonderful day.